I set myself a goal, a challenge to myself, where I had to create completed fan art of characters in just one hour. I did this again, and again, and again. And I got pretty good at it, I like to think, and I learned a few things from it. What did I learn? Well, I learned how to draw pretty damn fast, very very fast even. And hopefully you will too, with these steps that I'm gonna list. So, the number of one main thing is texture over detail. If you look at a lot of the old master paintings, they will approach a picture or a painting with a minimalistic attitude. The whole idea is that they kind of pick out key details that are in a piece, say like the eye and stuff like that, and try and focus it down to the main key important parts that are necessary for a picture. And it's what I try to focus on, going more so for the texture of a piece rather than focusing on the absolute details. So, the brushes that I use on Photoshop actually have a lot of texture in them. There's this one that I really like in particular from Anato Finstock and I fell, I've, I've absolutely fallen in love with it. It has like a really textured, it's just like a thin line but it has like this really sporadic kind of like scroll to it. Almost like it's a, a pen that's like running out of ink. There's another brush that I use that is kind of similar to this but this one focuses more on colour dynamics and what this does is it gives the brushes more variation in the colours that it will pump out so it will give it like more variations in the contrast of the colors so it will have more brighter colors it will have darker colors and then it might say uh, say i've got i picked a green color it will have a bit more shades of yellows and blues going on in there as well this is a way of getting more colors to be in the piece and give it more variation which is something that i think works really really well for photoshop because if you're going for one gradient color everything just looks a bit flat and it's a good way of just quickly being able to get something out there in such a short span of time and that's one of the things that help <laughs> with my artwork in particular. Number two is going with the flow. I also try not to think too much when I'm going into the art piece, <laughs> which sounds a little odd, but I like to try and just go into a zone. I'll, I'll put a timer out there and I'll put a timer for just one hour so I know I've gone over the mark or whatever, or I can have a look every now and again to see how I'm doing and go, ooh, I need to speed up or I need to slow down here. But I, I don't know, I just like listening to music and stuff like that while I'm going into it and trying not to think all of that too much about it. Number three is something that helps me go into the flow a little bit better, and that's having certainty or confidence in your artwork. Something that can help with this is to sketch your piece out first so you kind of get a sense of what you already want to do. In my case, I'm doing it on fan art, so it's something that already pre-exists in any case, and while what I'm doing is something that's original, it's already a pre-existing character, so I don't need to go and think about it anywhere near as much as if I were to do, you know, my own character or my own setting or something like that. That said, something that helps is having reference photos or resources of the characters that I'm drawing ready to go is extremely useful. The closer to the pose and angles that I have in mind is best, but sometimes it's just not possible to get the exact references that you really want. Sometimes though, uh, I don't actually like using the resources at all because, you know, there's only so much resources that you can get online and they're not necessarily the best. With the FNAF pieces, like, some of the characters you'll only find, like, one very specific pose and that's, like, the only thing that you can find. Like, for instance, the marionette character. So, one of the things I do is I go onto a website called Sketchfab and the way Sketchfab works is it's just people upload their own creations that they have of a 3D model and FNAF has quite a lot on there which is really helpful for me because then I can just have a look at the model and start you know getting my own resources from there I can move the character around and all sorts and I really like going for upwards and downwards angles so I guess prep work is probably one of the more important factors yeah I'm letting my mind just go loose and doing whatever I want to do which allows you to get into that flow and and just finish the art piece quicker. And finally, the last most crucial step is to just practice. This ultimately is what this challenge was all about. It forced me to draw in a way that I was pretty unused to doing. My artwork usually takes me weeks or months to complete, so it got me kind of complacent in doing it that way. So this challenge was to really put me out of my comfort zone, but damn am I glad I did. If you want to get good and faster art, this is really the best way to do it. And I know it's a cliche, but you just gotta draw. So go. Go draw something right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe and follow me on Instagram for all the latest news. Right, that's it. I'm ending the video now.